Uh, so, good people, thank you all for uh, taking up the time to join us here today at number 30, Ganymede Mead Place in Half Mood Bay. And I'll tell you what, uh, despite the high cost of living in Auckland, it still remains very, very popular here at Half Moon Bay, where you can park your, your yacht, your boat, just down at the marina, or a hop, skip, and a jump away. Now, happiness for me is Tina, a large, close-knit family that live in another city. That's what happiness is for me. But I'll tell you what, for young Peter and Annette, uh, this home personifies happiness where literally children can run free range. Even old Pooch here, man, no problem at all. Running around, not a care in the world. Now, we offer up an estate in Freehold, 888. Well, Tina, that's lucky, isn't it? Of terra firma. The big fella, he's not making any more of it. Uh, Jaden, is the neighbour here today? Because it's... The neighbours, obvious, they should be having a crack, I would have thought. But anyway, it's lot number 47. It's Depositor Plan 63907, Record of Title, Volume 20A, Volume 276. Now, the chattel list is exact. I've looked high and low through the property. I cannot find one floor other than the floor that you'll be standing on on the 22nd of March, 2024. Or if you're travelling with a variation, uh, young Peter and Annette, they've signed those off, all off so you can bid with confidence. Conduct of auction at Harcourts. We like to keep things nice and friendly because we don't want to be upsetting the neighbours. I will nominate the bids, may refuse a bid, temper any quarrels, but you good people all look pretty reasonable to me. Vendor bidding is my exclusive. Or oh, if you've got a tip from the bookie, ma'am, do you have a tip from the horse trainer? Oh, I'm always looking for one of those. Right, where was I? Uh, telephone bidders. Tina, I'm not. Is anyone on the telephone today? No, I'm here. All your competitions in the open. All the transparency. There's no hocus or pocus from me. Property can be withdrawn from the market within a moment's notice. It tends to happen in this neighbourhood of homes of this ilk. Quite often, sir, people, yeah, they fold their arms like that and they stick to the fences, and it's like the Velcro's working, and they wait to hear on the market before they bid. If we don't meet the reserve, we just talk to the highest bidder. It happened at 11 o'clock today where I walked out and just said property is sold. And then, Tina, someone got upset with me. It's not my home. It's not my money. I'm not telling you what to do. It just it can happen. So hold the highest bid. That's my only recommendation suggestion. And, of course, our good people, some of the finest people that God's ever drawn breath into. Uh, they have set a reserve in line with your feedback. They've loved living here, but it's uh, surplus to their requirements, one would say. They're moving on to the golden years and good on them. If only I can make that, but hold tight. Uh, if you meet the reserve, sign the contract, pay the deposit one-tenth, and the balance of those fees in full on the conjoined possession and settlement date. Jaden will give you a handshake, a hug, a selfie, whatever takes your fancy. Everyone pretty happy? Man, I would just die to be in shorts right now. <laughs> right. Um, but I'll tell you, uh, look, you adjoin a reserve, right? So finally you get value for money for rates because council are going to look after that and your kids just get to run around. They can play hide and seek. They can scale trees. Now, this is a property. You're anchored here with the brick, with the veneer, tile. How can you miss, right? It is rock solid built by a craftsman who measured twice and cut once. I love the designer kitchen that's literally brand new where you'll never take marble for granted again. And look at these good people in the Lozier living where you can have a divine cup of Earl Grey or a Heineken or two, sharing stories, having family celebrations. You've got dual living spaces, Richard. You can watch the cricket. The missus can watch reruns of Days of Our Lives. Whatever takes your fancy. You're worlds away, but you're not worlds apart, and it's in a sleepy little cul-de-sac. And after, you can't miss. It has it all. So the question is this. You can give in, you can give up, or simply you should just give it a go with an opening bid, opening offer, because the question is where do you good people see value, show our good sellers the market, and give them confidence to have one less thing to worry about. Opening bid. Who's got a number? Where do we say go? Right, fifty dollars. No problem, sir. You can have the letterbox. Thank you. No problem. At fifty, I will ask, and you shall receive. See, good sense of humour in here too. We'll throw him in at no extra charge. No worries. One million dollars. Well, I'd be lynched by the neighbours at that, but at least we go fifty dollars. We go a million. So, do you guys want to go two? 
Jaden's standing next to you, so you are very important to my auction. Because the law of reciprocity, you've got to be good to your kids. They'll be choosing your retirement home. I'm not far away from that myself. 1.1. Puts up legs 11. You'll be running around here, no problem at all. At 1.1 million, it'll be now. So, 1.2. Well, that's pretty easy to follow, and she's a champion bid. Good on you, man. Love the shirt. 1.2 million, it'll be now. At a million two hundred thousand, you can park the chariots right here at 1.22, two two it'll be. Well, facing due north, light strews in from a multitude of angles. How can you miss? Keep going, team. I'll let you know when to stop. The Baker's Dozen. See, I'd be putting up Valentine. if It's not far away, is it, either? It's only, what is, yeah, it's not far. There's plenty of fellas here that are under pressure today, right? Valentine's. 1.3. Okay, 1.3 million at a bid now. Sir, 1.3. I would show some gusto. A little bit more strength, but no problem. At a million three hundred thousand. Philly bidded down now. Mahosive Bedrooms. 1.4. There's the Valentine at a million four. Now, I know there are other registered parties here, but that's okay. At a million four, four at a bid now. You've got 888 square metres of tillage. If you're as old as I am, that's 36 perches, guys. And, boss, you want your good lady to be happy. I've learnt that. <laughs> She's happy. Well, right now you're in second place. You're driving home without our property. Ah, good on you. One five, okay, beautiful. At a million five five at a bit now. Anyone else can interrupt. And also to those that are streaming online, morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are in the globe, at a million five five at a bit now. Sir, tell me where you can find better around this location. All this I'm gonna sing it down, I'm gonna call it down, I'm gonna say last hurrah. The good life. Fountain of youth living around here. You just statistically you live longer. At a million six hundred eighty thousand, it'll be now. Be quick, or I'm going to sell it to these good people at one six eight zero. Right, hey, Jaden. Uh, to everybody, I'm going to hit pause. Uh, team, I'm going to give you some. Oh, here, right, right, well, right. Here. Where have you been all days, boss? But you, you got your New Zealand shirt on. Good on you. One point seven million. Right, yo. Now you've got a beautiful little sort of. Briefcase, is that full of... you got cash in there, boss, have you? Good stuff. We love people with cash. Right, well, here's, here's some other interest, sir, at 1.7 million. I'm not the competition, clearly. All I do is add up a few numbers, but at 1.7 million, at a bit now, would you like to go to one and three quarters? I say ER Sun at a million seven hundred thousand. not here to dilly-dally, at 1.7. Tell me where a better home with more land exists in Half Moon Bay. Thought to be extinct. 173. It was a terrible year for the All Blacks. Have you been to Eden Park and watched the All Blacks? It's a great experience. You've got to do that. Put it on the bucket list. Sir? <laughs> no, I'm just, just getting to know you. <laughs> Man, if this doesn't sell, I'm unemployed. I'm thumbing a ride home. Trust me. At 1730, you're all smiles, and this is happiness is what I sell around here too. 1760, thinking about it. Well, well, right now I'm going to be telling them what they can buy it for, for the want of another bid. So I'll say in our native tongue, I'll say Tahi Urua Toru at 1730000 at a bid now. Awesome. Sorry, not, has anyone over here got, here got any interest? Just want to check. Yeah, no, well, I kind of worked it out. Who's got the boat? Oh, look. See, he'll show you where the snapper is, right? But when you go fishing with him, it's at least 100 bucks, right? I love people that go fishing. There's $20 for gas. What? Anyway. Right, out. Well, uh, we'll just hit pause, right? Uh, Neighbours, can you tell everyone how good it is living around here, please? Um, we'll be back to you. Um, a couple of things can happen again. Uh, I can walk out here and say the property's sold. I can walk out and pass it into the conditional market, and they can put in those uh, love letters. Oh, what? You know I haven't got my hearing aided. Um, it has to be a 20, sir. I've got to take the instructions of my sellers. But I love those big pearly whites you got there. 
one and three quarters because I'm here to make my sellers money, not save them money. One and three quarters, thank you, at 1750. Jeez, coming out of holes in the ground. It's like rubber duckies around here. At 1750. See, how did I pick that? It's got good taste in fashion, too. What do we reckon, guys? Don't be ringing Tina back in a week going, why didn't you make me bid again? But at 1750000 with a good gentleman, who goes next? Who puts up the 7-7? Seven, seven? The two fellow. I'm going to say Ekdor 10 at 1750000 Right, Baldy's walking. He's going to have a chat. Oh, oh. Right, well, let's pause. We'll hit pause on the live stream. Sir, you're in the box seat. I'm going to let you know. Okay. 7-7. Seven, seven. All right, all the neighbours are getting tired of me now at 770, but that's okay. I'll stay here to the bitter end. Sir, 1.8. I don't know how you can put a value on this amount of land. At a million seven hundred and seventy thousand at a bit now. What about my sleeper? At 1770 at a bit. Is there 1.8? Everyone knows I've got a job to do. At seven. 1870 at a bit now is at 1.8. I go, I go. Right out. Well, no, 1.8. No. I just, I have to let that one sort of go through to the keeper. Again, I just, I have to, sir, and I don't like saying no because I get it at home all the time, but I have to follow the instructions of my sellers, Tina. I don't like, you know, I wish I had that money, but I don't. Um, so you can see that I've refused the bid. You're still in the box seat, unless it's 179. Right, let's go and have a chat. We'll hit pause. No particular rush. Not here to elongate proceedings either, though. Uh, but that's okay. Just got to do our job. Uh, there has been a substantial increase. Now, there is a possibility the property could be sold. So, again, it is not a threat. We just like everyone to know what's going on. Um, so if you see value uh, north of where the bidding stopped, please let me know. But, again, uh, it's our owners. It's their decision, not mine. Uh, but we are perilously close, one would say. And thank you again for your patience. Uh, what's transpired is the bidder has made an increase to $1.9 million. And uh, we are close, but no cigar. And that's okay, right? Sometimes just people need a little bit more time, respect their owners' decisions. But we are close. But at $1.9 million, um, I'm giving this couple the first right to purchase the property to the exclusion of all other parties. So when I pass it in, we sit around, we let everyone go home, Ring Tina Jaden back in about an hour. We'll let you know what it's sold for, okay? So right now, you guys are in front. Um, sir, I will take a 10000 if you want the first right to purchase. Half Moon Bay, 900 square metres. Do the math, one nine. What's that? Just north of, what is it, uh, 2000? Well, anyway, you know the numbers. What about Mr New Zealand over here? You see value north of 1.9? Okay, no, no, appreciate it, though. Thank you for your clarity. Um, Sir? Right out at a million nine hundred thousand. What about my young couple that make me feel real old? Right now, well, thank you. I appreciate the flattery. At 1.9 million, at a bit now, I say not a whisper, mutter, murmur, syllable, nor a sound. This is happiness personified, and I promise I'll never visit you. That's got to be worth 10 grand. Right, well, what we're going to do, Tina, we're going to set the property aside with you good people. Good luck in those endeavours. To all other parties, thank you for coming. We're going to transact the deal here. Uh, have a memorable afternoon, and uh, may you go far, may you go forward, and may you stay very, very well. Oh, it's Chinese New Year's today too, eh? Yeah, yeah. Happy New Year's. See you at the casino, Ping. <laughs>